What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and today I'm going to show you how I got a lot more efficient mining Caspa thanks to help from you guys. I uh, appreciate all the comments on the previous video about using locked core clock, or excuse me, locked memory clock at 810. Uh, a lot of you guys recommended running locked core clock as well and gave me some recommendations. And so far that's worked out pretty well. I wanted to share that with the rest of the guys. So also wanted to show you guys something that I had to purchase for the solar system uh, that I wasn't aware I needed. Luckily, I found one that was pretty inexpensive and I'll explain what that part is and why you need it. And then we'll take a look at profitability on what to mine. And then uh, we're gonna compare the difference between my previous overclocks and my current overclocks and kind of compare the efficiency. And then the last thing I have for you guys is a new coin to spec mine if you're interested. Maybe something good to have on your radar. If you're not watching Son of a Tech, uh, he mentioned earlier today that he wanted to share something he was interested in. And he was the one who introduced me to Caspa. So perhaps this might be one that you want to check out. So with that being said, let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is pull up the farm. Now you guys are probably you're used to seeing this 3070 Ti rig. I'm going to go back to one of my previous videos and we can compare uh, hash rates and wattages. So it's looking like 533 mega hash, anywhere between 117 watts to 125 watts. And compare that to where I was at in the previous video at 638 mega hash at 214 watts. Uh, let's pull up an online calculator real quick. All right, so 638 divided by 214 is 2.98 eight mega hash per watt okay well, let's compare that to now 533 divided by let's say 117 4.5 mega hash per watt that is an astounding difference now if you're going for the highest mega hash possible uh, those clocks that I were using will, would work pretty well on a 3070Ti, but uh, yeah, efficiency is what you need to be shooting for, especially right now, considering it's not profitable to mine. So let's take a look at a couple of other rigs. Oh, by the way, uh, to get to this, I dropped the core to 1700. And again, this memory number here, pay no attention to that. It is currently locked at 810. And if you don't know how to do that, it's in one of my previous videos. And I'll link it above and down below. Uh, let's take a look at Naboo. So we got 3080s and 3070s. Uh, 3080 coming in at 755 mega hash at 162 watts uh, versus 168. 71. Compare that to previous video. Bear with me, guys. Oh, you know what? I may have had that rig turned off. Oh, I did. Yeah, at the time, I didn't want to record a video with the noise in the background, and uh, I wasn't actually mining. On, on all of my rigs because it was unprofitable. Uh, so we'll have to move on to the other mixed rig here. Uh, looks like we were getting 497 at 150 watts on a 3060 Ti. So let's go compare that rig to what it's doing today. 420 mega hash at 95 watts, which is considerably less. 150 watts. So let's do this one first. 497 divided by 150. Okay, 
Okay, 3.31 mega hash per watt compared to 420 divided by 95. Four point four two mega hash per watt. So yeah, a substantial difference. Uh, the thirty seventy getting five oh nine at one nineteen compared to five seventy at one forty nine. So five seventy. Sorry, my mouse is giving me some issues. 3.46 mega hash per watt compared to 509 and 119. It's 4.27. So, yeah, significant differences there. And then we've also got a 3080 Ti. Uh, currently at 884 at 212 watts. Previously 956 at 264 watts. So 3.62 compared to. enough. Oops, sorry. Wrong thing. 884 divided by 212. 4.1. So, yeah, efficiency, uh, probably about a 50% increase in efficiency on some of these. So, man, that, that's significant and definitely worth your time and attention. Now, 1700 seemed to work the best for me on the core clock you might try 1740 that was also efficient i'd show you my little spreadsheet but on, on only one card did it make a difference when i was rocking the 1740 lock core uh, i think i got up to 4.55 or 4.6 mega hash per watt all right so yeah moving along so i met with the inspector and Everything looks good, except in addition to having an AC shutoff switch next to my meter, they also want a DC disconnect switch there as well. And this will disconnect the solar panels to the inverter. So I did a lot of checking and I just really couldn't find anything that was very affordable. It seems like anything related to DC is about a 50% in increase in price as compared to purchasing things for AC. And what I was looking for was like a lever type of shutoff switch, uh, outdoor rated. And what I wind up finding was this right here. Uh, so this is a solar DC isolator switch, a thousand volts at 32 amps. And it's only $56 and free shipping. Uh, in addition to that, they also requested that I put on some uh, warning stickers. So I just went to Amazon and, and found some that would work. Now, you do need to make sure that it says solar or PV. You also need one that is labeled for disconnect and then one that is on your conduit for your wire. So I went ahead and ordered a couple of different ones. So I'll show you guys that in the next video. And then moving on to what to mine farm coming in today at negative two dollars and 59 cents with the default numbers on heavy hash uh, so we're looking at 13,500 mega hash at 4100 watts but in reality well we won't say reality in software we are at 11.53 giga hash at 2800 watts. So let's put those numbers into what to mine. Uh, 
we'll say 11.53. And then we were at 2,800. I'll just say 2,888. And let's see how profitability changes. So $7.25 in revenue and $2.50 after power or negative I should say uh, and that drops cash down now we're only losing 79 cents per day instead of two dollars and 53 cents per day but we are only accumulating six dollars and 14 cents worth of Casper now I mean I'm not really concerned with the price that it is right now uh, really what I'm concerned with is is it cheaper to purchase it versus mining it and we're getting pretty close so I am doing a little testing for you guys but other than that the brakes are pretty much going to remain off until that switches um, and then lastly the coin that son of a tech mentioned today in his video on twitch which he does not share some of these things with you guys on the YouTube channel but I'm going to uh, hopefully with his blessing, but that is Radiant. Um, once I can figure out where to get a wallet, um, it looks like TextPick has it, but unfortunately there's an error or a warning message that says if you're mining to that wallet that you will lose your funds. Uh, I looked at their GitHub and tried to get the wallet, but yeah, I just, I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. Bear with me, guys. Um, if you know, please leave a comment below. Uh, share the information with everyone, and I'll be sure and share it with everyone if I figure it out. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.